How are you doing today, sir? Doing good. Good to see you, Steve. Nice to see you. Uh, st- let me start with congrats on the movie. Uh, I It's a blast. I hope it's a huge hit for you guys. Sincerely. Thank you. Uh, I Tons of questions for you. Um, I want to start with who do you, how do you rank uh, Shang-Chi's power level in comparison to say like a Hulk or a Thor? Do you view him as more powerful? Did you ever debate this? It depends uh, if you're talking about the beginning of the movie or the end of the movie. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I think he, by the end of this movie, I think he is, you know, standing, standing up on a, on a similar level to some of our, our favorite superheroes in, in the MCU. Um, but yeah, I mean, for fun, we've debated things like this, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't really know the answer to it, but I'm sure we'll explore them in the future. hundred percent. This is your first movie of, uh, on this scale and scope. What did you learn making this film that you wish you knew on day one? I wish I knew on day one um, to just chill out a little more. <laughs> I was like, I was really scared in the beginning. Um, you know, we, we started off with some big, big sequences um, with, with a, a lot of extras and we were primarily shooting legendary Tony Leung. And so that's where I started. And it was really terrifying for me because I, I wasn't um, used to working with Tony yet. I was, I was really, I was really, I felt, I felt really uh, out of my element, but it, it really was within that first day that everything settled. And I realized that I'm, I'm surrounded by a, a really supportive team and that what we were, what we were making was, really fun it, it it turned into one of the most pleasant exciting exhilarating experiences of my career and it was it was a, a blast to work on i love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a movie what do you think fans would be surprised to learn about the making of a marvel movie or the making of shang chi i mean i was surprised um at how fluid ideas flow um amongst uh, other other productions on on that are happening w- within the MCU, um, and the how fluid ideas are 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 flowing within our own production, and the the evolution of of the story over the course of the two years that you're making it um, was was also really surprising how how much things are constantly changing and updating and becoming better and better and better really with the fans in mind from day one, all the way to the end, we're, we're just constantly trying to make the movie the best it can be. Um, so it's the, the most exciting thing for, for all, all of the fans. And that was, that was a, a, a really cool part of the process that I wasn't fully aware of. Was there anything that almost ended up in this movie that was maybe cut for time or budget or whatever reason? There was a really cool fight scene um, that was set in a really cool setting um, that I don't want to speak out loud because I really hope that we can do it in another movie. Um, but but it was one of the most uh, exciting settings that that um, I was hoping hoping to see a a, a fight scene happen in. Um, but I, and, and it, it didn't make it into this movie, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll make it into the next one. I always ask filmmakers this question. Um, how long was your first cut compared to the finished film that fans will see? I think the first cut was close to three hours. Um, and, and the, the final cut is, is a little over two hours. Um, but the, the, the changes that happened between the, the first and the final were, were fairly, we, we, we went through quite a few changes and rearranging things. And, you know, our, our movie is telling some linear story storylines um, and, and to find the, the real balance of, of the, the, you know, revealing of, of information and the drama was something that we really discovered in the editing room with our incredible team of editors. 
Now, obviously, when you say three hours, that's probably like an assembly cut. That's literally all your footage. Yeah. So I guess my question is, did you end up with a lot of deleted scenes or was it um, just tightening the scenes you had? No, we have a lot of deleted scenes that you'll be able to experience on the Blu-ray or however they release deleted scenes now. Got it. Would some, you say really, it's like some really good ones. I think there's some great deleted scenes in this movie. <laughs> Would you say that it's like 10, 20 minutes or less than that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That sounds close to right. I don't think it's less than 10 minutes, no. I'm definitely curious about the post credit scenes. Um, was it always those two scenes or did you almost have something else? There was always some version of those two scenes that were floating around. Um, the the post credit scenes are always a discussion up until the very end. So there's so many what if what if scenarios flying around um, that that may be you know exciting teases of what's to come. There there were some much more elaborate pitches uh, for for some of those scenes, um, but I'm really happy with where we where we ended up. The, without getting into spoilers, the first post-credit scene poses a question. It sort of is asking what is, something's happening, if you will. When you do something like that, do you already have the answer? Or is it sort of like, let's just pose this question, we'll figure it out later? It's a little of both. I mean, we, we definitely are, are posing a question that is pointed to a direction that makes sense to what's happening in the, M in the MCU. But and also is is a direction that is very exciting for us to explore in the future. Um, but the 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 questions that are left unanswered are are equally as exciting, I think, to the creatives making the movie as it is to the fans. I think exactly what fans are going through or what we're going through, like all the potential what ifs of what what it could be, and that, that's kind of that's part of the fun of working for a studio like Marvel. I have to stop. I'm just going to say again, congrats on the movie. And I sincerely hope it's a massive hit. Thank you so much.